Grass. This is a grass coming cutting simulator, I'm sorry. I don't the, the plot is irrelevant. Find the talking simulator. Well wait till you get to a piece of grass. Then it will be a grass cutting simulator. And of course, I need to get to the Muku path. And in the past it was quite a bit more dangerous before they had safety regulations like um I don't know they they didn't allow s snakes and bats um yeah and giant holes in the ground so there's those bats up there we're going to murder them because like in Pokemon bat keys are the zoo bats of Pokemon uh, there's a key door over there we're not going to be able to do anything with that until we get a key now will we so now we're going to kill all the zoles little gel things and um, knock down the um, the brick. I, I always used to think those bricks looked like Hershey's bars, honestly. But um, then again, I wasn't a very bright child. So we're going to push those back on this way. Bam. Here, I'll be nice right now and I will name the baby of this game. Since you're such a little baby over there, guy, you, you can be the baby of the game. Aw, thank you. Well, I'm going to grow up eventually. Little guy, you. I'm gonna be little guy you. Oh, little guy you. Uh, sure, let's name him little guy you. Uh, on my end, we if you noticed over there, blocking the path that you got the neural key to. Yeah, I already got the dungeon key. What about your game? Uh, you have to now use it somehow to be able to get to that area, which is covered by a tree. So what's the first thing you think you have to do? If you guessed A, burn down the tree with some sort of fire device, then you would be correct. So we're going to be actually getting into this little tree cutting simulator ourselves to try to get some rupees. Of course. That, that's what this game is about. It's about cutting grass. Future lawnmowers of society brought to you this game. Link is a f the future of lawn mowing technology. Okay, so here's the baby Muku tree. She's like, uh... And there's these um, moblin type fellows, and they're like, yeah, we're just gonna walk around, rah, shoot arrows, rah, rah. and she's very happy that I'm killing them. Um, honestly, there's absolutely no danger here. I could sit here for hours, and there's not really a sense of urgency to do anything. In fact, I'm attacking the Mooka tree as a child. Oh, I didn't want to kill him. Dang it. Um, well, she thinks I'm pretty cool because I went and killed a uh, moblin. So, I got his nuts! Yeah. I got his nuts! Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's pretty hot. The, yeah, the guy, the Gashu, the Gasha seeds, they used to plant a plant. I got the mayor's nuts. Anyway, nice. continue. So anyway, the Mako tree just um, opened the door. She just explained a shit ton of plot. Um, honestly, if you're interested in that, you can um, look that up. Um, and now, she wants to marry me. Great. So, um, there's a portal here now. That's pretty cool. Cool beans, right? Um, we're gonna go ahead and take that, go back to the future. No Dun reference there. I don't no, know the, I no don't know the song. I can't hum it either. Do, 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 do. So, uh, now, 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 now. Alright, so here's the Mako tree when she's um, an adult. Honestly, not much has changed, only except she's grown seven times, or probably a hundred times bigger, and um, she has a flower on her. Oh. Oh, wow. I completely forgot, guys. You're not supposed to burn down the tree. Pyromania is not the answer right now. You actually just go over here. And she loves me. Right where you start the game, and that's how you open up the first dungeon. I'm a complete idiot, and this tree looks like he's going, meh. Meh. So we're here at the she's 400 years old. Oh, we're here at the first dungeon, the Gnarl Root Dungeon. I have no guy who's over there chilling with the, the tree trying to marry her, and we're already in the first dungeon of the game. I'm ah! not even close to the first dungeon. Good for you. <laughs> like, this game is like plot. Which is useless because it's a grass cutting simulator, so. Yeah, I, I hear you. By the end of your first episode of your playthrough, I'm already going to be so far in this game. Well. Yeah, I, I, I remember uh, Ages being a lot more action-oriented, where you just kind of get thrown into the, the fray of things. And this one's more of a, um, more 
of uh, puzzles, like, puzzles, and yeah, and like uh, y like plot. What's funny is I personally like ages more than seasons, but oh, whenever yeah, you too. said me rock too. seasons, alright. And I got a bag of siege. Nah. Did you get the guy's nuts? Was it no, a mayor I, who gave I didn't get no nuts. I just got uh, seeds. And I, get to, I get to throw them on people. Uh oh. Look at this. We found an old man in the secret dungeon section. Let's ask what the old man spoke. Return the light and tell. <laughs> Return light to unlit torches. That's almost as good as Tadango's dislike smoke. Almost. Almost. And this is where um, Nehru's living right now. Or not right Nehru, but Impa's living. Um, cause there's no it kind of does look like an imp. Yeah, kind of. A big imp. If you can't tell by that little um, hourglass thing, that's the indicator of uh, whether or not is the future and whether or not is the past. So right now we're in the future, as you may have guessed. We're going to go back to um, over here. The past. And um, go into this little graveyard over here. Look around. Ooh, holes. Not gonna be able to do anything with that. Um, go up here. There's a gate with a key. You can't go in there. And there's a ghost over there. He's waving. He's pretty nice. He's a chill dude, honestly. Cut the grass. Let these drop on these kids who are um, apparently afraid of everything. They're like, oh no, we're afraid of the dark. Then again, that is in a dangerous cave and not filled with, filled with holes. I probably wouldn't have uh, wanted to go in there either. And they're just going to walk past me and disappear into um, oblivion. They never really existed. It, that was really all in Link's mind, honestly. So um, we're going to go over game. here. Wrong game. Oh, what do you know? That was a secret. Go in there. You see, on the emulator, you can see very clearly that you know there is a... Um, pattern there. On the Game Boy color screen, <laughs> not so much. So, an ex the experience is kind of lost in that method, but you can kind of see. You know, over, it, on, uh, over on my end, you guys notice I just picked up the dungeon map and all the games. You simply click the dungeon map if you get lost. It's kind of useless in the first couple dungeons because it's very linear. And you'll notice that in a lot of the dungeons, actually. That it's kind of bland and boring for Oracle of Seasons, the first couple ones. Oracle of Ages, they actually throw in some puzzles, so it's kind of cool. I believe in this is a compass. This one allows you to get all of, find items in dungeons, all this. I'm kind of doing this so on Gaiu Zen 2, when he starts his dungeon hopping, you guys will know that end too. So yeah, you can thank me ahead of time, Gaiu's audience. Waha. Alright, level 1, Spirit's Grave. Does a spirit really need a grave, though? Because... I don't think spirits really die. They're already dead, aren't they? Yeah. So anyway, as you can may have guessed, there's pots all around. Can't really do with much of the pots because they're heavy. Can't break them. So obviously the item of the dungeon is going to be something that can counteract these said pots. Um, can't do much in that room. No, I don't really remember these too well. There's the souls. May get them confused with Jews, not Jews. And that's all clever ruse. So let's go ahead and push these chocolate blocks and... Um, We'll continue. Ah, ah, alas, alas. I got the bomb, and the secret item for this dungeon is not... I don't believe the secret item for this dungeon allows you to pick up pots quite yet, because this game's kind of lame in that fact. Um, instead, you guys get minecarts, and what you guys can cards? run... You can run into crap with minecarts. Uh, so, question of the day, audience. Which dungeon do you like better? Do you like the Naru dungeon, or do you like the classic grave dungeon that Gaiyu's over there doing? And if you're a Gaiyu fan, then me, 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 me. If Don't you're a Gaiyu fan, I would like to know, because that's very funny, because I probably have, like, two viewers right now. Oh. A whole two. probably the same for me, too, because I don't seamlessly promote quite yet. I should, though. Yeah, we probably should, because people are going to be like, what the hell? So anyway, I got the compass, and I've got the, um dungeon map. The compass um, is kind of a uh, item finder, if you would. It'll show you where things are in the dungeon. That can actually be really useful later. Uh, right now, like he said, it's very linear, and um, there's not much uh, to be shown. Um, also, I just got a ring. Right there is a secret area if, um, if you want to go in there. 
Um, and a funny thing with that is over here on my area, if you noticed, I just used a bomb. That's the kind of area he's talking about. When you get the ring with your sword, you actually use a bomb on the side of the wall, and that usually opens it up. Or it means that there's an item hidden in the cave depending on the ring. Ah! I, I hate these blastoise looking things and these cloister looking things. Ah! Do you have your shield yet? Yeah. Yeah, I don't have my shield yet. Actually, I do not have my shield. I thought you meant like you had some name for these guys. Oh god. Oh god. I'm going to die. I'm going to be the first one to die in our playthroughs. I am going to be the first one to die in our playthroughs. Oh gosh. Oh my god. So there's a the gash seed. Later on, that'll be a useful mechanic. That will be um, something you can plant in the ground and use for um, getting items. Um, in my game, it's a lot more broken than it is in his because in my game, I can pretty much instantly go to the I can go to the past, plant a gash seed, and go to the future and um, harvest it. Does that in really game, happen? Yeah, I, that's pr as that's how I remember it, but I might be wrong. Do I get the boomerang? Is that what I get in this dungeon? Oops, okay. Not much I can do in here. Uh, over on my end, you see right here these red and blue blastoises over here. They have some sort of boomerang mechanic going on, and they are quite deadly. But shouldn't be for this first mini boss. Oh god, I'm going to die. I just died. Congratulations, folks. Now you're going to see me fail. I haven't quite died yet. I killed a hand, though. You mew me. I probably will die, like once or twice when it gets a lot harder. The problem with doing these live narrations is you can't hide the fact that you died. They, that you died. Yeah, I understand that. <laughs> Cause it's like, everyone sees it, man. Alright, there's the key. See, and also, you can't hide the fact that I'm highly incompetent and forgot to check, like, one room, or check, or to grab a, um, treasure chest, and, um, now I had to backtrack quite a bit. Riding the minecarts! Aw, oh, dammit. Dammit, dammit, dammit. Dammit! Bats, keefs, keefs, I can't pronounce you guys, but you guys are keefs. Do you remember, um, that one playthrough, um, that I did of Pokemon Brown? Uh, I believe so. So I don't quite remember, but I could probably surface it from my mind. Oh, I remember crap, 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 that crap. he had Buster. Alright, the gimmick of this guy is he's gonna send little ghosts at me and fuck me up. Oh crap. No. Are you at the pumpkin guy? No, I'm at the ghost guy. I'm gonna die. Guy. Crap crap, I'm dead. Woohoo! Crap, crap, so crap. you no, died no. at the mini boss too? Not quite yet. Almost. Ah oh, man, you got to die at the mini boss, so we can oh, Okay, I'm dead. I'm, I'm dead even <laughs> All right, that's good. Then I at least have redemption. It means both of us died at the mini bosses, which is hilariously bad. Yeah, that is pretty bad. I vow never to do that ever again. Uh, that's a lie, actually. Yeah. Well, when Ooh, you I say those kind of things, that's blasphemy. You know it's gonna happen. Yeah, I know. That just oh, means I have to walk I, all the way back. I just, I just, that just happened, people. So when you beat a mini boss, as you'll see on Guyu's file and on my file, you get this little weird red dot of four things spinny thing. If you run into it, it warps you to the beginning of the dungeon. This is kind of useful if you have later on dungeons that have half puzzles at the beginning, half puzzles at the end. Are you just running up on yours? Yeah, I'm, I'm just walking back. Ah, <laughs> uh, good for you. Have a cookie. Ah. Uh. I would. That's what I get for making fun of you. Now I have to find the block that you need to push to get out of the way. It has to be this one. No? This one? Which block is it? Which block do I take? The front seat what or the back seat? What block do I take? It's Wednesday, 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 Wednesday. Gotta get down a hump day. I really don't know what block it is. And this is getting on my nerves. Okay, I know how to kill these things out. Oh, crap. Crap, 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 crap. crap. Oh. Get the hell off me. <laughs> so while you're hearing him go, yeah, yeah, you actually get the item of this dungeon. No, you do not get any fancy lifting mechanics. You get instead a seed satchel. Uh, what this does is... There we go, he's dead now. Which are useful in this game for burning crap. 
and Teleporting. lighting torches. Very useful. Boop. 